I once heard a story about a green Grinch who thought stealing Christmas would be quite a cinch. Old grumpy curmudgeon did all that he could to take away trappings that Whoville thought good. He went into houses and took down the trees. He stole all the giftings and lifting them seized all the hopes and the goodwill the Who's thought they'd found when they celebrate Christmas as December rolls round. The Grinch seemed so angry, so mean and so bold to destroy all the memories and traditions Who's hold. Why would he deem Christmas a terrible thing? Traditions of Yuletide and carols we sing. Enraged, all the Who's to their festive lights cling. We've done them forever. Christmas is the thing. We don't care what paganized rituals we've brung. Our parties and shoppings and eatings begun. Don't tell us that Christmas trees scared Jeremiah. Our hearts on this matter are higher and higher. So what if the history of Christmas is bad? To take it all from us would make us so sad. No matter what God our Creator would wish, we think that He'll like all these things. They're delish. You're just a big Grinch to attempt to usurp our bestest and brightest and happiest burp. We'll read from the scriptures. It comes from the Bible. Don't tell me that Santa or trees are an idol. So what if our Savior was born at Sukkot? I believe that as much as I do Noah's boat. That's all from the Torah, and we think that's done. We've changed Mithra's birthday to our father's son. I'm sure he will measure our hearts when we sing of Santa and Frosty and reindeers and things. Oh, Grinchy, you simply do not understand. It's Christmas tradition, and we think it's grand. You're Grinchy to tell us that we should return to Torah where all his instructions we learn. We don't need the Bible to tell us what's what. This Christmas is wonderful. You just shut up. We think that your heart is too small for your chest. Don't you know that Christmas is better than best? Maybe your shoes pinch or you're just a Scrooge. Come on and join us. Our cookies are huge. Once you have tasted, you'll see they're so good it won't even matter to do what we should. Our Savior won't tell us what we have to do. He came so that we could be free from Him, too. So what if He followed the Torah and taught it, kept Sabbath and diet as when He first wrought it? We know that He's gracious, and we're off the hook. We won't give that Torah of His one last look. So what? His instructions were here 6K years. Now we all have freedom to join with our peers. No more separation from man's fond desire. We know that our hearts are much higher than higher. So soon the Grinch joined with the Who's in their folly. He learned that their Christmas was merry and jolly. It's true that his heart was two sizes too small, but the truth is that that's not the reason at all. His heart was for Torah, his creator he loved, but now he's forgotten what came from above. It's easy to join in and say it's for him, but maybe the outcome will be awfully grim. Someday we will see him and what will we say? That we learned the paganized festival way? Will he understand? Will he still be forgiving when we trample down the great gift he was giving? It's not about holidays, tinsel, or holly. It's not just because the festivities jolly. He asked us to join him on his holy days. The Jews have remembered, but whose feasts are they? Too bad we have missed the important instruction. I fear that we all soon will meet our destruction. For how is it blessing to mix God and man if adding our own spins not part of his plan? I won't join the Who's or the Grinch or Ebenezer. And don't think my heart's been locked up in a freezer. My heart holds a tablet of infinite worth. The Word became flesh and he dwelt here on earth. He came to restore his pure heart to us all, for out of his mouth he spoke Torah to all. We know from abundance is how his heart loves, 
so write it inside his pure word from above. You won't have regrets if you give up your trees, restoring, returning, it's him you will please. I said it before, and I'll say it again, no grinchy or pagan traditions of men. Join me in returning to all he made clear, forget vain traditions, let this be the year. Some day all will join into his great design, his feasts and his sabbaths, let these be our sign. Then you too will welcome his spirit on earth, and store up in heaven good things of great worth. No more will be your heart two sizes too small, he'll fill it with Torah, his love for us all.